Hello everyone, I'm Hugo, and unfortunately Jake can't be here today, but I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, YouTube. And if you hadn't noticed, our original video, Atheist Watch, The Passion of the Christ, has been taken down by YouTube. And if you want to see it in its entirety, you can go ahead and check out in the comments. We've posted it to dailymotion.com. Follow that link, and that's hopefully going to be there for a long time. You can check the original video there. If you want to hear why it got taken down and me talk about YouTube a little bit, you can always stick around here. But if not, I understand the video's down in the comments. So the other day we got a message from YouTube, essentially saying that the company that owns the rights to Passion of the Christ requested our video be taken down on copyright notice. As you can imagine, this made us quite mad because we put a lot of work into our videos, especially our videos that are like an hour long as that video is, but at that point we really had no recourse. So the video got taken down and the best we could do was take it off and put it somewhere else. We could have, and we thought about doing, taking the video and re-editing it, uh, putting pictures in place of the video, but after a while Jake and I discussed it and we felt that changing the video that fundamentally would kind of ruin the work we already put into it and that's not how we wanted you guys to see it. So instead we did the whole re-hosting. And there's a couple things I wanted to talk about pertaining to the legality of taking the video down. And if you're not aware of what fair use is, fair use is the concept that copyrighted materials can be used in certain circumstances uh, for uses of parody and for uses of review and criticism, and if you've seen our reviews before, you know that the entire purpose is reviews and criticism. Especially this video, we use zero audio from the movie. It's just video, and if you've ever seen any sort of movie review, of course they use video from the movie, especially when we're talking about the shots and talking about the visualization of the characters, like Satan in particular in this review. So. I and Jake fully believe that this is under fair use. Now you might say, why don't we go ahead and dispute it with YouTube? Here's why. Because our channel has zero strikes at this point, and just getting something taken down for a copyright does not give you a strike. However, if you try and contest that with YouTube and with the copyright holder and then you lose, then you get a strike. And what happens if we get a strike is we lose a lot of our privileges as YouTubers. We can't upload videos longer than 15 minutes, for instance, which for us would entirely cripple the channel because all of our videos are longer than 15 minutes. And I don't think you guys want to sit and watch a video that's the Bible Reloaded watches, whatever, part one of seven. What a pain in the ass. And we don't want to do that either. And even though legally we believe we're in the right with the fair use in the video, YouTube doesn't care. YouTube, generally 9 times out of 10, will go ahead and side with a copyright holder, even if it's under fair use. Now talk to any YouTuber who's been doing this for a while and ask them about how YouTube's customer services and how YouTube's claims services, it's awful. 9 times out of 10, they always side with the copyright holder regardless of the actual law. And one of the reasons for this is that the system is almost entirely automated. YouTube does not have the staff to be doing this. They don't have the staff to be handling all these claims because obviously there are hundreds of thousands of YouTube channels who are dealing with this stuff all the time, but it's an automated system which makes it uh, much more to their benefit to always side with the person who makes the claim and not the person who's disputing it, which is a huge problem because we can't afford to dispute it and then lose. So we have no real reason to even dispute it, so if something gets claimed on our channel we're basically fucked. And that's a huge problem. And I know this is kind of ranty, and I get it. If it's not that interesting to you, I understand. But I just felt I needed to get this out there. It's more for me than for you guys. And I wanted you guys to understand why, instead of re-editing it and putting it back here, we're going ahead and re-hosting it on Daily Motion. And if this ever happens again, we're probably going to do the same thing. And we might put some other videos on there that we've already done. But that's pretty much it. The funny thing is, too, I was already mad. Uh... And then yesterday, we tried to put up another Chick Trek video, and YouTube had problems yesterday, all day too. And this wasn't just with me. If you didn't get a bunch of your um, YouTube subscriptions in your subscription box, everyone has been, was having problems with that. So YouTube's just all over the place this week, and I am oh, just frustrated with it. But um, thanks everyone for listening. We did a new Chick Trek yesterday, and as I said, you might not have gotten it in your subscription box. So if you want to check that out, here's a link to that. Other than that... We'll be back next week with a Bible episode, and the week after that with another movie review, and hopefully that one goes better. So, thanks everyone for watching. Until next time, I'm Hugo, and this has been The Bible Reloaded.